So here I am in the Lurdy Dirt State Park and we're looking at the rocks that actually occur here. Uh, so this is Ordovician, but it doesn't give us specific information on the type of rock. It just says there sandstone, siltstone, shale and uh, so here we look like we have some sandstone. No, well, it is sandstone. We've got quartz veins. Uh, this probably doesn't take any gold. Doesn't look like it um, has any mineralization. So you need it to have a uh, different mineral so it changes color. So looks like just pure quartz. Here's another quartz up there. Here's a massive sandstone bed. Looks like strike and dip is pretty much 90 degrees from sea level. So that's pretty much sea level. 90 degrees is that way. And here it is, you get flakes off. So this actually looks like mudstone. Uh, probably like a uh, very thin bedded. Obviously it comes off in planes. It's probably shale. This looks like shale. And with a metamorphosis, it actually turns into slate. Low level metamorphism. So I think I'll take that home actually. And we have some more. So these ones are probably deposited from upriver. They're rounded, so obviously it's river alluvium. Uh, but these ones here just come from up in there. It would have just fallen down. So let's have a look at the shale. So as you can see, it's fin bedded. Breaks quite easily. Uh, let's see if we can get a thick piece out. Anyway, oh there you go. Thick piece. So this shows that it has a lot of lamination. So this has been deposited over quite a few years. And being all Dovisian, it's over 400 million years old. And this would have been probably in a, a very quiet waters because shale's pretty much fine clay and probably a deep ocean. So, but I haven't actually. And it doesn't look like it does have any fossils in it. So, that is a pity. So, I'm going to make more videos here while I'm at Lodi the Gorge. Uh, yeah, but that is uh, some interesting geology. And here we have some more quartz. So, I reckon that the sandstone is somewhere up river. So, quartz and no mineralization. So, this rock it was heavily fractured. And the mineralization of the quartz happened. Oh, the quartz actually come up about, uh, about 380 million years ago. There you go. So that's very interesting. Never seen these type of formations before. Not here anyway. And uh, it looks quite nice. So here we have some quartz. So we have some, looks like sandstone. Uh, looks like a little bit of shale. And here's the quartz vein. Uh, it seems to peter out, so it starts roughly up there. It gets thick here. And it seems to end here, so maybe it actually goes into the rock. But this is, has a lot of mineralization, a lot of a pink color. So this is a, a rock that you could actually try and look for gold in. Uh, I don't see any gold colors. But this is the type of rock you want to look for in massive sandstone so the fracture is here you can see that there is some um shale rock here got thick banding there of sandstone and you can see it actually goes all the way down so you got some oh you know you still got some quartz going down here uh, got some here but this is probably uh caused by when the water come up 
deposited these uh, quartz. So it's a very interesting geological structure and you can see it actually goes up into there. Large sandstone. These are pretty small so they probably would have come from a fair way up river uh, and been eroded over a long time. Then you've got smaller rocks. So these ones would have been deposited in pretty rough conditions. The water flow that we see now, uh, it is doesn't have enough energy to actually move these down and then you've got a lot of large rocks as well as you've got this fine sand type deposit which even the water flow now I pretty much cannot carry this the water is quite clear so it doesn't have that much uh, sedimentation it's carrying so all this has been deposited so you probably can carry some clays but by the water quality I'd say it's not much clays in the water so this here is a sandbar when it's in flood river probably goes it goes on that side normal side of flows on but it also comes along here and that's why we've got a lot of gravels is a little bit depressed because uh, some of the sediment does get taken away when it's in flood and it is probably deposited there and you can see we've got rocks of all different types of sizes we've got some quartz there's lots of quartz here because uh, of when the mountain building process happened that's why we have high Uh, so we have high mountain peaks there's one just up there and that's continually being eroded and this is part of the all gold bearing ore not only gold but also have a stuff like tin and copper and iron uh, but because it's a national park uh, you're not allowed to do any mining here so you can see you've got large rocks. Over that way you've got natural uh, Ordovician rock. And you can see a lot of the large rocks are not rounded. So them from pretty close by, local area, probably just up there. A lot of the small rocks are rounded. So they're probably from further up river. Or they're just older rocks. So they could have occurred locally but they have been sitting here a lot longer than the larger rocks so you know this one might have been here for probably a few thousand years uh, this one might be only been here for a few hundred years so there is a time lapse and also a as i said the transportation so another theory is that this could have come from upriver and been transported down river that's why it's uh, smaller and rounded and this one could just be a local so probably, I don't know, it could have been from a rock-bearing rock that was uh, higher in elevation, but it's totally been eroded away. So, and here we have a large piece of rock with quartz in it. Uh, as you can see, it's all white, so this doesn't have any mineralization, so more than likely it doesn't have any gold. There are pretty good channels on YouTube that show you how to look for gold. A lot of them in the United States. But those gold-bearing formations also are relevant here. And any other place that has quartz-bearing rock. you also got massive formations in which the water went through the actual rocks. So like the sandstones and deposited gold in there. The massive formations. But... I, I really don't know that much about those types of formations. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to actually look. And you can see the plants overgrow, so this doesn't get flooded too much. This one probably gets flooded every year. 
So that's why there's no vegetation. It's all being removed. So as you can see, this is called Graham's Dam because what we have here is a, a bottleneck pretty much where all the rocks have been deposited. Uh, over there it looks pretty calm so that's most likely a deeper part of the river. When it has lots of rapids, it's usually it's uh, pretty shallow. Not usually, it is pretty shallow. As you can see, it's pretty shallow. So all this water has been squeezed into this part. So generally, as this is straight, usually all of this area is eroded. And, you know, you get erosion happening here. But as you can see on the other side where there is a very thick deposit of colluvium, alluvium, looks like a, uh, and you can see the roots coming out so this has been eroded because all the water has been pushed into that area because uh, the rocks that have been built up here so this probably would have been deposited sometime in the past when I don't know but you can see down below it's got a lot of uh, so you've got a lot of thick rocks there just a small part so they would have been depositing very calm waters where the water is rapid and then all of a sudden it just lost a lot of energy so it just dropped all those rocks and up the top you've got finer material so the, so, the, so you've got finer material there so that means that the water was uh, had a lot more energy able to take a lot of the larger rocks down and then as you get up you can see from about there it will become a lot less, a lot calmer. Then there, it lost all the energy, so all the rocks just fell out of the water. Uh, but it still had enough energy that it was able to take all the fine sediment away. And also, another thing is that after this has been deposited, uh, a lot of the sediment has been, well, fine sediment has filtered down below, so it's gone through the cracks of the larger rocks and probably ended up on the deposit so you've got two things happening here you got filtration from above going down of the finer material and also you got that finer material being washed down before uh, when it was being deposited so that is a complex story and very interesting you've got a lot of material over there been eroded so this is this is probably just going to keep continuing to be eroded by the river and on this side we have a lot of rock that's been deposited sometime in the past probably a few hundred to a few thousand years ago it's been overgrown this is all large rocks so this would have been deposited in pretty rapid water so uh, had a lot of energy and a lot of the finer material has either uh, infiltrated down below under these rocks because of rain action or it's been washed away at the time of deposition or later on so because these rapids here are probably quite capable of washing away to find silt and clay uh, Definitely these rocks you can see they're in the water so it's not able to pick up large rocks or even those smaller rocks down there. So a lot of these smaller rocks it doesn't have enough energy to pick these up and wash them down. So and you can see the water is very clear. So even there's not that much silt or clay in this water. Like where I live is a uh, basalt rock, and if you go to the rivers and the dams, that water is just it looks like very watery mud, it's just brown, and you can't see down to the bottom of the actual river. And this one's very clear, indicating not much clay, but we do have a uh, mudstone and shale. Oh. And this type of rock here, it's 
probably it looks like sandstone, but I'm not close to it, so I need to get closer. And it has a lot of quartz in it as well. So you can see quartz. See here you have quartz, 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 quartz everywhere. So this is a very good place to look for gold, but I don't think you're allowed to look for gold here. Uh, you need to look on the government website to see the legal requirements 